A client who experienced a myocardial infarction is being monitored via cardiac telemetry. The nurse notes the sudden onset of this cardiac rhythm on the monitor and immediately takes which action? Option 1. Takes a client's blood pressure. Option 2. Initiates cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Option 3. Places a nitroglycerin tablet under the client's tongue. Option 4. Continues to monitor the client and then contacts the healthcare provider. In this video, you will learn to identify this cardiac rhythm and then determine the priority nursing action. Let's take a comprehensive look at the basics of cardiac rhythm and EKG. An electrocardiogram, also known as an EKG, is a test that measures the electrical activity of the heart. With each beat, an electrical impulse travels through the heart. This wave causes the muscle to squeeze and pump blood from the heart. The waves are shown on a cardiac monitor like this one or an EKG trace. This is the normal cardiac rhythm you would see on an EKG trace or cardiac monitor. A regular electrical rhythm has a P wave, followed by a QRX complex, followed by a T wave. This shows the electrical activity of the heart to be organized, which means the heart is contracting and relaxing normally. In this case, we call it a sinus rhythm. A sinus rhythm requires organized electrical activity that initiates at the sinus node. In adults, Normal sinus rhythm usually accompanies a heart rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute. However, normal heart rate may vary from person to person. Normal sinus rhythm is defined as the rhythm of a healthy heart. It means the electrical impulse from the sinus node is being properly transmitted. The EKG in this question shows disordered electrical activity with no identifiable waves and irregular rhythm. This pattern is consistent with ventricular fibrillation, or V-fib. This rhythm is often associated with a heart attack in which the heart muscle doesn't get enough blood supply, becomes irritated, and causes secondary irritation of the electrical system. The ventricles suddenly attempt to contract at rates of up to 500 beats per minute. This rhythm may be referred to as an irregularly irregular rhythm. This rapid and irregular electrical activity renders the ventricles unable to contract in a synchronized manner, resulting in immediate loss of cardiac output. Since the heart does not beat, blood is not circulated to the body or brain, and all bodily functions stop. Without a coordinated impulse to signal the ventricle to beat, sudden cardiac death occurs, which is why ventricular fibrillation is the most important shockable cardiac arrest rhythm. Unless advanced life support is rapidly instituted, this rhythm is invariably fatal. Note the strategic word immediately. This cardiac rhythm identifies a true ventricular fibrillation. The goals of treatment for this condition are to terminate ventricular fibrillation as soon as possible and to convert it to an organized rhythm. The health professional or an advanced cardiac life support qualified nurse most immediately defibrillate the client. If a defibrillator is not readily available, CPR is initiated until the defibrillator arrives. Options 1, 3, and 4 are incorrect actions and delay life-saving treatment. The client in this question has a ventricular fibrillation, and the most important nursing action is to initiate CPR until a defibrillator becomes available. This makes option two the correct answer. If you have any questions, make sure you leave it in a comment below. That's it for now, on to the next video.